Erica. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little what's in my diaper bag tour type video for today. Um, we did just get back from kind of a dinner with family. So the bag's pretty much packed with everything that I usually bring out with me. Um, this is my diaper bag. It's a skip hop for my backpack. Um, I can do a more in-depth review of the backpack if you want. This is the color latte, which I don't think is available anymore. Um, I got it off of my baby shower registry, um, and I believe it retails for $75. Definitely not a paid advertisement. Got it off of my registry, um, but I really do like this bag. It makes it a lot easier to juggle, you know, holding Ben and, you know, use of both hands is a great thing. <laughs> So I will show you what I normally pack. Um, just a little background, Ben is seven months old right now. Um, I do work full time, so the diaper bag gets dropped off at um, babysitters during work hours, and I pack it quite often. So I have a little bit of a system, and things tend to get a little messy, um, as you may know have a seven month old. Things don't always go back into the right and correct places, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the real true mystery of what my diaper bag is. So what I'll do is I'll start with this um, front smallest pocket here. Um, I'm just going to face the bag towards me and show you guys what's inside. So in this front pocket I have lots of things. Um, Extra binkies, always a good thing to travel with because someone likes to raspberry his binkies out of his mouth now. It's kind of cute, but also a little stressful, um, especially when they hit the ground and you need to clean them. Um, the next thing that I have in this pocket is, let's see, get all of this stuff up here. I have Origel, um, is coming uh, in handy quite a lot now. Um, ben is teething, starting to feel like his front top tooth, so it's kind of very helpful to have that on hand. I have some Advil for me, because you never know when you might need it. I also have um, a chapstick and a lip gloss that I forgot existed in my bag. So see, you're getting a very raw version of what's in this bag. Um, next up, I have a draft pen, just in case there's something very messy on Benjamin's clothes that I don't want to get stained and kind of get in there for a long time. Um, I've used it on a few things, his blankets especially. And then I have a Tide to Go pen for my clothes. Um, honestly, haven't really even used this. It was a great idea. It was something that, you know, everyone in blogs and vlogs say to put in the bag. I put it in there when uh, Ben was a newborn and just kind of never took it out again. Um, and the next thing I have is two small things of aqua for. Ben has eczema and it especially gets um, bad in the heat and humidity, so I like to keep extra aquaphors. We do have a big Lubriderm bottle in our house, and I prefer to use those, but these work in a pinch, especially if you can start to see it, especially in his folds. Um, so that was the first pocket. So the second pocket is this big one. It has two tabs. And I like it because it opens up and opens pretty wide. Um, this bag does come with two extra um, like little cubes that I used a lot when Ben was newborn and then kind of took them out and I, I'm not quite sure. I might try to use them again just because they were helpful in organizing. It's just his clothes got a lot bigger than what the cubes could hold. So I have to like reevaluate what I'm going to use them for. Um, this pocket, I mostly have our formula divider. Um, I like to fill that up every time we leave. Um, this is another thing 
True Raw Unedited. Um, it's a cap for a pacifier, but I don't know what pacifier it goes to. So I've been kind of holding on to it in hopes that I can find it, and I haven't. So I think that's going to go in the trash, because why am I carrying it around with me every day? Um, the next thing that I have is purees. So Ben has been eating purees since he was about three or four months, three months going on four months. He started early with rice cereal. He loves his food. Um, usually for um, like dropping him off for daycare reasons, I'll give two of these. If we're going out and I know that there isn't somewhere to kind of mix the rice cereal or, you know, have a, a like a spoon fed meal, I pack the pouches. Um, I get the Target brand just because it has one fruit and one vegetable and he seems to really like them. Um, there isn't really anything that he won't eat. He's not a super fan of peaches, but I mean, he'll still eat them in a pinch. Um, this one's banana pumpkin. He loves banana. I'm not quite sure about pumpkin yet. Um, other things in this bag is his little teething mitt. He's never liked wearing it, so he won't wear it on his fingers, but he likes the fact that it crinkles and he loves to chew on everything now. Everything just has to go immediately into his mouth. Um, and the last thing in this part is um, sunglasses. I've been getting um, this brand of sunglasses just because it has such good ratings online. Again, totally not sponsored. Want to hit me up? You can. Um, but the, these are called Rochambeau Baby. They have baby, toddler, and adult size glasses. And what I love about these is the company says if the baby can break them, um, they will replace them. So they're super flexible. The lenses pop out really easily. They have polarized lenses. They're just like a super cute, like little um, pair of glasses. And they all have like old school 80s and 90s names. So the black frames are Bueller after Ferris Bueller. Um, but it's really, I love those glasses. Ben is not a fan now of wearing them. He used to keep them on and he'll keep them on in like really sunny situations. But again, he's in a very teething stage right now and anything that's near him or that he can get his hands on is going directly into his mouth. Um, and then last in this pocket is a pair of socks. Um, it is very hot here. It's been in the 80s and 90s. Um, we do live in Boston, so the weather, you never know what you can expect. So we always like to keep a pair of socks in the bag. So that was it for the second pocket. I'll do the side pockets. There's two like big bottle pockets. I'll do those next and then I'll get into the middle. So um, again, this was like a quick trip out. This is what I'd bring if we were gonna go out for a few hours to the park like we did um, Salem Willows or something, you know, quick and not needing a lot of meals. For babysitting, I put um, two bottles instead of one, but right now I just have the one bottle. Um, I use ma'am, mom, ma'am, I think they're ma'am, ma'am bottles. Um, I like them because uh, the top and the bottom unscrew, so it's a lot easier for me to clean them, um, but usually we'll, we'll pack two. Um, if he's gonna go out for a long time. And then we also have Nubby Sippy Cups. Um, there's a ton of brands, and the reason why I got this one is it's a 360 sippy cup, um, and it has the like cover, but it's a softer like spout. So the spout is much softer, and then it has this thing in the middle that allows water to be sipped at any angle. So he, um, Benjamin has been holding his bottles now. He doesn't quite understand that he needs to tip them up completely so he can hold on to this very easily and sip water. He loves drinking water. He's the only baby that I know that like gets super excited, giddy, giggles when he sees me pull this out. Um, 
but this has just been a lifesaver. We found these at Target and it's like hit or miss if we can find them. So like sometimes they have a bunch, sometimes they only have one or two. So we've been just like buying one or two whenever we go. Um, but this is really helpful. We're trying to get him to learn how to use the sippy cups. And I bought some of the harder spouted ones and the ones that he'll have to like physically tip up to drink. Um, but he hasn't quite understood that yet, but it's fine. He's still, you know, super young. He can, he can take some time. Um, the next thing I have, I usually always throw a spoon in here just in case, um, wherever he's going doesn't have one or we get something and share it with him. Um, I have an evil eye bracelet because you never know what people are judging you or looking at you or giving you their, you know, bad juju. <laughs> I have a pen just in case I need to write anything down. Um, and that's it on the side too. Um, what's clipped on his bag right now, I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works, very helpful. The Munchkin Arm and Hammer diaper poop bags, they remind me of dog poop bags. And I'm sure it'd be a lot cheaper to get those replacements instead of the Arm and Hammer brand. Um, and we do have a dog, so I might do that. And the last thing he has is a uh, Storyland baseball hat. It's been so hard to find baseball hats in baby sizes um, that aren't mesh because I wanted something that would protect his full head when we're out and about in the sun. Again, he's not a super big fan of wearing the hats, but we like to bring them just in case. So when you open up the bag, there's one pocket in the back and then there's two pockets in the back here and then the rest is just kind of a big open space. What I like about this bag is you can flip it back really easily. It stays open. It's not going to flop back in your face. Um, I do enjoy this bag. I don't think that it's the easiest to organize or keep organized, especially when you're in it and out of it all day. Um, I have things in certain places that make it a little easier to get to things, but I'll talk more about that later. Also, um, my boyfriend James does have his own diaper bag. It's also a backpack diaper bag, but it's a different style. And his has a lot more compartments. I'll talk and see if he would be willing to do a what's in his diaper bag video in the future. Um, but for now, you just get mine. <laughs> so in the back big pocket here is the skip hop um, changing pad. Um, comes in handy quite a lot, especially when we're out and have to change him on gross surfaces. Um, the next thing I stick just in the back pocket with the skip hop changing pad is a book um, I like to try to get board books or a book that will entertain him. Um, earlier today we went out to the Amazon bookstore and I showed him this book. Um, when I was in college I was learning sign language. I love sign language and ASL. I would love to get back into it and talk to people. Um, and I just thought that a baby sign language book would be a great way to have Ben communicate with me before he's able to talk. Um, the next thing I have in here is a pack of wipes. Um, I know you can get like the cute little like diaper bag pouches and like the, the I'm going to call it sample sizes. I know it's not a sample size, but you can get like the smaller ones. I don't like to use those because if there's a blowout, I want enough wipes to keep me through it. Um, and then I have diapers in here. I'm not going to pull out all the diapers, but I have about five or six um, in there. The next thing I have is a burp cloth. He doesn't super need them um, that often, but when he's drinking the water, he does dribble and drool a lot. The next thing I have is I have one change of clothes. If he's going out or we're going out for longer, I'll put one or two outfits, a onesie. Since it's summer, I've been putting a lot of like shirts and shorts or um, just like plain onesies for him to change into if he gets disgustingly soaked. And then my wallet because we just came home. And the last things that I have in here 
are a few little toys. Um, one that he can teeth on, and then two he can also teeth on, but also are musical. Um, but I wanted musical ones that shut off. So they're easy on, you can turn it on really easily, they make noise, they light up, but you can shut them off so that your bag doesn't sound haunted when you're going out. Um, but uh, that's it. And well, last but not least, another pair of socks, which are misplaced, which again, totally honest, kind of overview of what's in my bag. Um, but that's kind of what we take. If you have the same or similar bag and kind of pack things different, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys do. Or if you have another favorite or another thing that you bring that you think that I should stuff in this bag, definitely leave a comment below. I'd love to try to get a discussion with you guys going. Um, but other than that, that's my bag. Um, we will have more content on Friday for you. And thank you for joining. Bye.